How do you make money, lots of money, in your 20s or even in your 30s or maybe even your 40s? Clearly, it's not by being an employee. How many employees in their 30s or 40s make upwards of $200,000 a year? Very few. Business, on the other hand, is hard, risky, and you can go on for years without profits. I have been there. So, what is the way? Recently, I have stumbled on a couple of events that have made me to rethink how to approach making lots of money. You can let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. My story is anecdotal, so I would like to bounce ideas with you guys to know what you think. In this video, I will be telling you guys four stories, and at the end of the story, I will tie them all to the strategy. Let's begin. Firstly, construction. All over the world, but particularly in Canada, is a huge industry with lots of profits. Forget the employees. Let's talk about the actual business owners, the construction managers, or the general contractors. How do these guys make their money? They make their money as a percentage of the entire construction cost. So what that means is, say we want to build a large residential structure and the construction cost is $100 million. If the general contractor can bid 8%, that means out of that $100 million, the contractor is going to get $8 million as profit. And trust me, this does not include the amount of money required to pay his employees because that is included in general requirements, which is a different section altogether. I know I'm rambling at this point, but bottom line, construction managers in Canada make lots of money because they can charge a percentage of the total construction costs and that is where they make the bank. Recently, I've been looking into investment banking and the amount of money that I am seeing there is ridiculous. So these guys make more money in bonuses than their base salary. So say you've been an investment banker for 10 years, your base salary may be 500000 but in the same given year, you can make a bonus of, say, $1.2 million. And that bonus you made is because investment bankers also get a percentage of the companies that they help raise funds or whatever. Say an investment banker raises fund for a small business. Eventually, the small business becomes profitable and exits or sells. And say its evaluation moved from $200 million to $1 billion. The investment banker gets a percentage of that profit. Sometimes it can be 20%. It can be 10%, but easily 20% of 800 million is upwards of 160 million, which is a lot of money for an investment banker to make in a given year. So, again, investment bankers make their money from percentages. Let's move on to one of my favorite YouTubers recently, Benjamin Hart. He became popular on YouTube from discussing um, his divorce proceedings and his quarrels with his daughter, if I may put it that way. So, Benjamin Hart made his millions through copywriting. And how did he make his initial big buck? He wrote advertisements for a certain company and instead of being paid in cash or upfront money, he decided to get just a small percentage of whatever profit that his ad copy makes them. So I can't remember the exact number. It was like 1% or whatever percent it was. And that went on to make him, I don't know, one, two, three million dollars, lots of money. Um, the video is detailed on his YouTube channel. So again, he made his money from percentages. Now, the last story is somebody called Pav, someone I know personally, and he's 25 years old. I am 27. I'll be 28 very soon. This guy is 25 years old. He has a net worth of over $5 million. How did he make his money? He's an insurance agent. And how do insurance agents make their money? They make their money as percentages of the premiums paid by policyholders. So say you want a life insurance coverage and you are paying $100 per month. The agent who helped you sign up for the insurance or the who helped you during your underwriting process, he is going to get commission, sometimes up to 40% of whatever your premiums are. And Pav has been doing this for some years and has racked up serious commissions from all the people that he was able to help get life insurance. And now he's just 25 and he has like a couple of houses. So tying all these four stories together, it is just hitting me that whatever you are doing, if you are not going to own your own business, which I think is the absolute best way to go, you need to make sure that you are getting a percentage of whatever it is you're involved in. So instead of selling your time upfront and just getting a one-time payment, sometimes it's better to just get a percentage of whatever it is that the business is selling. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video.